Eleven Labs just came out with V3. So we're going to check that out right now. All right, here's the website, V3 Alpha. Let's go try it out. And currently, the only option, I believe, for V3 is text-to-speech. I was testing it before, and this is what popped up. The things that are new about it is basically these tags is the newest thing. So these tags let you describe different emotions, or you can have background noise, like right here, applause, or you can even put it into accents. And looking at the documentation, which a uh, link will be in the description below, these are some of the other tags that are available. There is also, these are the sound effects, and I did the applause as a background effect. And then you can also do sings, woo, fart noises, I guess, and strong accents. The other cool thing that they added was there's more weight to dot, dot, dots and capitalization. So capitalized very is more, has more emphasis and the only other difference i believe is the dialogue so you can have james and then jane talk and you can switch between the two and with the voices they have specific best voices for v3 because you want a more neutral voice and then we use, use these special things is you just put them in brackets i don't know if this will work but we'll do raindrops Let's see if we can hear raindrops so we'll generate the speech subscribe please carl you Sure. Yes. It's good karma. Okay, I will. <laughs> okay, so the raindrops didn't go, and I believe that they probably just don't, they don't have raindrops in here. But other than that, that was pretty cool. The are you not sure, are you sure was pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, that was that was a great recording. So uh, yeah, I even had this, even had the uh, strong French accent, which was awesome. So that's V3. So right now, until June, there's 80% off the V3, which is cool. So now's a good time to use it if you use it through the UI, which we just did right there. Uh, it's not available in the API yet, but it will be soon. And these are all the languages V3 supports at the moment. And then we're going to review everything else. Also, if you want to change the theme from light to dark, you can do that in here. Uh, they also have sound effects. So I already did some tests right here, but you can basically say anything. So I did an owl hooting. And it gave you a couple different options. Which is sounds super good. So, and I have owls outside my house and they sound like that. Uh, probably one of the biggest things I use is the studio, which you just start from scratch. And studio basically means it's for longer form. So it's used if you want to do an audiobook or like a voiceover or a podcast, basically anything long form you want to use studio for because you type it in, type something else. And as you can see, you can generate each section one at a time. So if you ever need to change something, you don't have to change the entire file like you do in text to speech, but you can do it individually based on paragraphs. I also do really like this pronunciation. So if there's some pronunciation that's different or wrong, you can add it here as well as direct the speech with your voice. So if you want a certain pronunciation, once again, um, it also has a break. I don't really use this at all, but if you want to break in the text and then after that, you just export it and then you get an MP3 file. So for 11 labs pricing, they actually have a free plan, which is really good. 10 K credits. It's not a whole lot, but that's about 10 minutes worth of audio. I would say give or take. And even in the free plan, you still get API access and you basically get access to most things. There is a dubbing feature that you do not get, the dubbing studio. Yeah, and I found as you go up in plans, the only big difference is, I guess, higher audio quality, which I don't really notice as much, and professional voice cloning. And this is maybe takes 30 minutes of audio of your own audio or whatever voice you're trying to replicate. So as you go up in plans, you tend to just get more credits, so 100K, 500K. And on top of getting more credits, the extra additional characters or credits cost less the more you have so it's 15 cents for an extra thousand tokens and then it goes up as time goes on or you can go in minutes and then obviously if you go on the annual plan and you pay one lump sum it's cheaper oh yeah on the free plan it says it's about 20 minutes which is pretty good this is for the voice cloning you can have multiple clones but there's only one basically professional voice clone once you go to the creator plan yeah let me know if you want to see any 11 labs tutorials